In this video, we will learn how to set font or change font size on Linux virtual consoles. A virtual console is a text-based shell environment. The default Linux installation provides six virtual consoles. You can access them by pressing Alt plus Control plus function keys. On a Linux virtual console, we can change the default font or increase the font size in three ways. We can change the default font in the current session only or can change it permanently for all users or a specific user. Linux saves font in this directory. These are the font names. These are the available font sizes. To change the default font in the current session only, we use the set font command. This command requires the font name as an argument. For example, this command changes the default font to sun. The change takes effect immediately. Let us take one more example. Change font to ISO. As we can see here, the font changed immediately. Set the default font to sun again. This command changes the default font in the current session only. If we want to change the default font for all users, we need to update the configuration file that stores the default font. Linux saves the font configuration in this file. To set the default font for all users, open this file for editing. Update the font configuration directive. Set the font you want as the default font. Save the file. The change will take effect at the next reboot. Reboot the system. Until the system reboots, you can subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed. This channel provides videos on various topics related to computer networking. Each video explains a specific topic in detail. As we can see here, the default font has been changed. It verifies the default font configuration we made in the slash etc slash vconsole.conf file. If we do not like the updated font, we can change it in the current session or update the font configuration file again. Finally, if we want to change the default font for a specific user, we need to configure it in his .bash underscore profile file. Shell executes this file each time the user logs in. If we add the set font command in this file, the command will execute each time the user logs in. Because of this, the user will get the configured font each session. Save the file. To verify it, log out from the current session. Log in again from the same user account. As we can see here, the user gets the specific font. If we want to restore the default font, we can easily do it by removing the set font command from the bash profile file. Remove this command. Save the file. Use the set font command to update the default font. It will override the default font configured through the bash profile file. Exit the current session and log in from the same user account. As we can see here, the default font has been updated. This way, we have three options to change the default font on a virtual console. We can use the set font command to change the default font in the current session. To change the default font for all users on all virtual consoles, we update this configuration directive. To change the default font for a specific user, we add the set font command in the .bash underscore profile file of the user. That's all for this video. If you have any suggestions, comments, or feedback about this video, please share them in the comment section given below.